Alright, this will be the first time the hydroponic seeds will see the light for the first time. And before we get started, please subscribe, hit the bell notification on all so you don't miss another video, and like this video. We are also trying to get this channel monetized as fast as we can, so please, please subscribe, share this video to anyone you can think of who will love this video, any family members who love the garden, or people like that. Also, I'm working on the studio up in my room. It is actually pretty much done. We just have to move like a table around, put some white sheets on it to make it look pretty cool. And we actually have a brand new Lego order arriving tomorrow morning. So that will be extremely fun to open. Also, wait, I can't catch my breath, okay. All right. Also, like this video if you think we should unbox that uh, in person or do you think we should take everything out just talk about every single lego set i have and then give some recommendations on the best lego sets to uh purchase on reselling also well not also now we're gonna go into that room right there grab the seeds put them on this shelf and let's go all right we got the seeds all right here is the first pot. If you're wondering what is in this, this is, if I can see it, this is buttercrunch lettuce. Personally, that is one of my favorite kinds of lettuce. Wow, that can't get, okay, there we go. Now, let's go get the other one with the other kind of lettuce and spinach. All right, I have no idea why the camera is angled this slow, but here is the thing. All right, we got I'll show you this right now. We got the lettuce right here. Really hope I don't drop this. And we got a ton of spinach right here. I probably should have counted them as I was planting them. I'm assuming I planted about 30 and somewhere around 30 to 50. But there we go. They are probably wondering, wow, that's some strong light. But also here is the cilantro too. Uh, a lot happened here. Uh, it's more like mud. Yeah. Kind of gave up. It was cilantro, but I kind of gave up. It was sitting in here for probably somewhere around two to three weeks. Never saw any root development or it, they never sprouted. There could be two options, either these, these plants just hate me and don't want to grow or they're bad seeds really hope they're bad seeds uh yeah also the what's i think they are bad seeds too because we were planting them in hydroponic stuff i did read one of your guys's comments and you guys were uh mentioning using a heating pad i will try that the next time i get more seeds kind of went through the rest of the cilantro seeds uh so yeah also, spring is coming up, so I'll probably do an order in like a month where I can get like the newest, healthiest seeds possible. Because I think these were old seeds when I bought them. So, yeah. Okay, also, give me a second. I'm gonna wash my hands real quick. All right, I'm back. So, if you look down here, new thing down here, we got, we leveled these up down here. We got a box because the elephant ears are not growing at all or they are growing hopefully but there is there we go there we but i mean there's a little bit of green on it but it might just be from years in the past so there they are we leveled them up with a box and yeah so that is one of the biggest new newest thing uh today also i do want to show the hydroponic stuff a little bit if you look right here, these are slowly growing, but they're over the course of a week, you will notice growth because these were, when I planted them, they, you can, well, when, like if you're over here, you can see the stuff. If you like zoom in there, you couldn't see that a week ago. Also, you can start to see the lettuce right here. That looks like I planted like five seeds in there. And same with this. So a lot of you guys were um, saying I should 
like bring the grow lights closer to the plants so they don't like try to reach for the light and then they look like they're really tall grass or something. And that is basically some of the biggest stuff. Also, you guys were asking a few things about the peas and how fast they're growing. I did not expect them to be growing this quickly. Here they are. So the seeds that I filmed about three days ago are right here and around here. So they are about that, that long, pretty probably about somewhere around a few inches and lots of progress, a lot of progress. There's the plants over here are kind of slowing down a little bit. Like when they first sprouted, they were growing extremely fast. Now they probably grow probably two inches in a week. Slow, but still two inches. So they still smell extremely good. If you're big fans of eating tomatoes, you want to grow those, just smell them every day and they'll put you in the mood for some tomatoes. Our peppers are also growing extremely fast. Uh, nothing new. Wait a second. Check this out. If you can see that here, I'll zoom in real I quick. I swear I was just digging down here like an hour ago. Wait, is that another one? That's another one. Oh my gosh. So they are growing. Wow. All right. I'm a little bit excited here. A little bit. I'm really excited here because these have not been growing. I will. I pretty much planted them somewhere around a month and a half to a month, somewhere around there. And they are just now growing. There's one, and there's the other one. If you do want to get strawberries, if you do want to grow a lot of them, do not get seeds. Seeds, strawberry seeds are just extremely hard to grow in particular. And for some reason, I, or I did watch a lot of videos about how to grow strawberries before I bought the seeds. And a lot of people were saying, do not buy the seeds. But for some reason, I bought the seeds. So there's that, and yeah. So yeah, if you do want to get strawberry seeds, I just recommend going on. I'm pretty sure Burpee sells these. I don't know about Eden Brothers or some other places. Those are the two main shops I really use. Uh, I am looking at getting a lot of strawberry uh, bare roots. So they're not bulbs. I, I was watching my video back last, uh, about three days ago and I realized I said uh, bulbs which are flowers so yeah I probably should correct that so yeah that is huge news that's extremely exciting so the impatience are not growing still I'm gonna need like a magnifying glass or something to see them but yeah I mean, that is pretty much everything. So, if you guys do want to make, like here, here's the advice of this video. If you guys do want to start like a hydroponic greenhouse uh, system in your basement or in your house somewhere, please get some fans. Uh, it is a lot of trouble not to have fans. Plus, it is not good for the plants to constantly be in the same air and the grow light is constantly heating them up. So, I haven't had that on for a while because I had that on like two weeks straight and think it needs to rest for about 24 hours. Also, if you are going on a trip, I really recommend getting these. Uh, you can control them from your phone. So, if there's like an emergency or something, uh, this app will also show you the temperature from your phone. So, if it like skyrockets in heat. Uh, Recommend uh, calling one of your neighbors or someone to go check it out. So yeah, that, that was one of the biggest things I wanted to get. Just in case like, when we go on a trip, I really don't want something bad to happen when I'm gone. And I can control it from my phone or possibly take it out with just a click from my phone. Also, one of the biggest things that the fans will stop is mold from growing on top of the stuff. 
So it tries to move, so it moves air out from away from the pots and replaces it with brand new air or cleaner air, I guess. Yeah, so it'll take away the mold. You might get a little mold there and there, but it won't be as bad as if you don't have fans running. So this is the end of the video. So please subscribe to the bell notification and also don't miss another video and like this video. If you have any other video ideas that you want to see come out on this channel, please comment that down and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.